Well, just as you said, and you spoke about for your girlfriend, let's say that, you know, I normally go to bed for argument's sake, and I'm not saying this is the ideal time, but I go to bed at midnight to make the math easy, and I wake up at eight. But tomorrow, I've got to catch my flight back home. So I'm going to wake up two hours early. So I'm going to wake up at six rather than eight. I've lost two hours of sleep. So how much total sleep have I lost? Well, I've lost 25% of my total sleep, two hours of my eight hours, 25%. Well, yes and no, I've lost 25% of my total sleep, but I may have lost 50, 60, 70% of all of my REM sleep. Why? Because REM sleep comes in the second half and then particularly those last couple of hours of sleep. So that's why it's not just academic that you understand the sleep cycle relationship, but it's also pragmatic because it can impact the amount. In fact, the easiest way if people said, how can I get more REM sleep? I would say just sleep 15 minutes later into the day than you normally would do. And you will disproportionately bias yourself towards getting significantly more REM sleep. And why does REM sleep matter? 